So let's get started with putting this Captain America Civil War costume on. So you may ask, where did I get this whole suit? This suit is created by a company called White Sheet Leather. Now they make a, a number of different costumes. For this suit, I decided to go with a very realistic look, which is the Civil War screen frame. Great suit, a lot of awesome features on this that we're gonna be displaying here in just a moment. For now, let's put this bad boy on. So there's two pieces that you put on over the top to basically wear the costume. And I know, I didn't break this thing off, I promise I'm not a fatty. <laughs> just a little tight. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zip this bad boy up right here. And this is just like a mesh underlay for the main piece of the costume. And then they also have a zipper that attaches here. This is great because these pants can get a little bit loose. It keeps them nice and upright to really showcase that American booty. <laughs> And I don't know why I forgot to do this. We're gonna have to go back to the ground and put my boot gaiters on right here. And you never would think, you know, the, the boots look all right, right? I did get some of these boots off of Amazon. Um, they were honestly, to me, the most screen accurate that I could find. You just loop this thing underneath there. And then what you do is you just wanna make sure this is aligned really well right here. Otherwise, it's gonna look kinda goofy. So I usually start at the bottom where it's gonna be the hardest to. And then I just work my way up. And it makes the real of difference for the costume itself. From here, I'm just gonna buckle each one. And I believe you, they have two options, fox leather and real leather. Um, I, you know, of course, decided to go ahead and just send it and I got the real leather on these boots. Looks amazing. And I got a boot that was very similar to the boots that he wore in the movie. They have like the nice arch here. Look like high, high level combat boots. Give me a sec. And the hardest part about putting on the costume, I will say, is definitely putting on these boots. Definitely takes a moment. Um, and a lot of the times when I'm doing photo shoots with this suit, I don't even wear the boots. Or if I'm doing them at my house by myself, I definitely don't. If I'm going out in like a public setting, you definitely gotta rock the boots. I mean, it really does make and complete that costume. It's just that, that little attention to detail, if you know what I mean. And this is definitely what you want to do before you put on this top piece, because it really does limit mobility whenever you're wearing this, the, the other piece that we'll be putting on here in just a moment. And I just decided to go with this one instead of the end game, because I'm kind of a rebel myself, <laughs> and I love bad boy cap, you know, I love Civil War cap. Was a huge fan. When I really got introduced to Captain America, and the Civil War issues by Mark Millar and Steve McNiven. And man, he just really goes off in the comics in that one. And, and then, you know, Chris Evans uh, portrayed him in the Avengers movies and the Captain America movies. And my love for the character just grew. As you can see, I'm Team Cap all the way. <laughs> so I'll just have my assistant come on over here real quick. And they're gonna help me zip up. As I said, this limits a lot of mobility. So it's very hard for me to put on this suit just by myself. I'm just gonna have someone come up, zip the back, and then there's a couple other things that I'll need a little bit of help on. So I can usually start it, but the issue always comes with finishing it. You know, I guess Cap just uh, isn't a finisher, you know? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have this piece on from here. The next step I usually like to put on next is the belt. And the great thing I love about this suit in particular getting it from white sheep leather is the, that when you purchase a costume you can purchase it with the accessories so i did end up doing uh fox you can do fox leather or real leather i did the real leather and i got this belt these uh boot gaiters and then of course these like pads that you put on to have your your uh, uh shield attached to the back so let's keep on putting the rest of the costume because we have a few other pieces that we need to get on so the next piece that i'm going to be putting on it's just like this like collar piece. So I'm gonna actually need help putting on the back piece, but the front I can usually end up doing, and I just kind of have to look down, just a quick buckle in on two sides, and then I think there's like three buckles on the back, give or take. But this is really where, you know, you start to get the Captain America look right here. And then the next piece I have oh, is actually, let me see. 
uh, just this little back piece. A lot of the times in my photo shoots, I don't even put this piece on because I can't even reach it. And you can't really see a whole lot. And to be honest, I'm not doing a lot of <laughs> behind the scene or back shots in the cap suit. Um, I know a lot of people want to see America's ass, but <laughs> I, like, I think it looks best from the front. So just waiting a second as we put the rest of this piece on. And I'll give you a quick view of the backside as well. And there we are. America's ass. <laughs> there, and then next up, we're gonna put on this. This is the one where I always get a little bit confused on putting on. I usually just will put on this, the, the straps and then what we do is we just Velcro this from the back onto this back metal piece right here. So I'm gonna have my assistant come in and help me out put this thing on, putting this thing on. The reason you don't see me wearing the Captain America suit a lot is simply because it takes a long time to put on. I can't do it myself at all. And you know, it actually gets really hot in this thing. So um, I definitely try to knock out as much content as I possibly can when I do put this thing on. I actually brought two different pairs. And we'll put one down, one and one. And I'll actually put these both on to give you guys a quick comparison. So I forget, I think it's leather fash or fashion leather, or leather fashion or something for these ones which are the ones I bought afterwards. These are the ones that came with the suit. Um, these ones are okay, but these ones look a lot more like the movie replica. And I'll show you guys a quick difference between the two. These, uh, if you have very large hands, you're gonna wanna go with these. And the reason I do like to wear these ones, sometimes with this costume instead of the other, is just because a lot of the times this little thing right here on the side will come out of the costume and since these gloves are a little bit on the larger side I can literally wrap them in on a, a lot better as you can see like right there I'll just kind of either push this piece in right there and then I'll do the wrap but as you can see the glove itself you see how it's kind of large right here and same on the fingers it's literally going to the end of my pinky I'm a six foot tall guy so I'm just like if you're a little bit on the smaller side, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get these ones. So let's do a little size comparison on these ones. I'll show you guys real quick. Gonna go ahead and put that bad boy on. I wrap this in underneath it, and then I will actually go ahead and I wrap mine underneath here, right here. And then I'm just gonna, this is the difficult part. See how it will kinda come out right there? So I have to realign it so it's not gonna come out on the sides. And look at that, we're straight, we're good. So as you can see, the difference in sizes here, you can understand why I would prefer to kind of go with these. They just, they fit better, they honestly, in my opinion, look better, and they definitely go with the belt and, the, the, and these better as well. So let's go ahead and switch out the other glove. And man, we are getting there. You know, I feel like what really completes the Captain America costume is the helmet. And I did a lot of research before I purchased my Captain America helmet as I think the biggest part of creating um, a great cosplay piece is always a helmet. That's what people are gonna see first, that's what they're gonna really recognize. So when it comes to um, finding something, I wanna make sure I find something that's, that's movie accurate and makes me look good you know I don't want to buy anything half price or cheap and so for that I decided to go with um, a creator called Jordan's ironic Ar armory now this helmet man it is it's very expensive <laughs> costs close to four hundred dollars it's made out of a polyurethane so it actually is kind of um rubbery if you can see that and now it looks like it's real armor man the detail in this thing is absolutely incredible. I and and it fits great. I could literally wear this thing all day and not be uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt um, my ears or anywhere. It, fit, it fits all my face like a glove. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on. There's multiple ways that you can put the helmet on. So I personally like to just unbuckle it off the side here and Velcro it on and then I buckle it in. You can undo these chin straps here as well. Whatever really floats your boat. Um, I think this is honestly the easiest way and what I also realized with this as well is it 
allows you to kind of keep the chin strap tighter. If you if you put it on through the chin strap here, it will kind of create a loose fit on your, your chin and it will kind of drag down and it just doesn't look like a good tight fit. <laughs> Takes a second. Ah. Is it Captain America without his iconic shield? Honestly, I love this. Um, I, I don't exactly remember where I got it from. Um, I did get, I think it's one of the Hasbro series, um, but it's not real metal, so it's not too heavy to carry around all day. It is a couple pounds, but the uh, detail on this is absolutely incredible. This is like some good leather straps. It fits very well in my hand here. And uh, no, I, I don't have the magnets to throw it and have it automatically boomerang back to me, but it really has that nice finish on it. it. Looks like it's metal and it has a good reflection off it as you can see here. It's a great, it's a great addition and I really think the final pro uh, finalization to this product. <laughs> Job well done. And let's just be honest, I think we all envision Cap nowadays with this iconic hammer, you know? I don't think I can really picture him without it now. After Endgame, who, who remembers that scene? I remember that when he pulled that in right there and he saved Thor's life. Dude, I was geeking. <laughs> I was geeking out so hard. I was absolutely in love with it. And it's exactly what was the finishing touch to really make Endgame um, a fantastic movie. Now this is a replica. Uh, I believe Hash Bros makes this one. And the cool thing about this is you can actually turn it on and it, it makes a little bit of noises. And in a darker lit room, you can see the blue. Um, I tend to keep it off as it doesn't really make that much of a difference. The hammer isn't metal, it is plastic. But it has a good, a good fill, and it fits really well in the hand. You know, um, the strap matches this one very well too. Looks leather, and the grip on the handle itself is really, really nice. It's, it, it really feels great in your hand. Um, I really enjoy holding this thing, and I think it's just the perfect addition to finalizing the Captain America look. So, all together. This is my Captain America Civil War build. Um, definitely one of my top cosplays. I love this suit so much. I think it is absolutely iconic. And I have close to 20 different cosplay outfits, but this is one of those suits that I truly feel the most powerful in. <laughs> I feel as though I, I, I myself got hit with that superhero serum and I'm the real Captain America when I put this thing on. It's a great feeling. And um, if you're looking at getting a Captain America suit, I really don't think you can get a better one, in my own personal opinion, for the price than White Sheep Leather's uh, Civil War suit. Um, their Endgame suit is good. The only issue I have with it is that the scales aren't the rubberized. It's like a fake, um, like texture, just texture, and it looks really good in pictures, but it doesn't look as good on. And you can buy those from different distributors but if you want to spend a lot more money, it's going to be more pricey compared to just this classic iconic Captain America suit. Now, the, uh, if I was to rate this cosplayer or costume from a one to 10, I'm going to have to end up giving it around a seven. And the reason I don't give it a higher score is just, I was a little disappointed with the sizing on it. Now, when I purchased it, 
I, I got everything custom measured because you can actually do that through white sheep leather. And the issue I have with this one is, it's just a little bulky on the arms, you know? It's just, and you know, I want this to be a tighter fit. The one advantage I give to the Winter Soldier outfit is it's a little bit tighter on the arm. So it really, you can really see that nice definition. And I just think having a baggy Captain America suit really takes away from the physique of what Captain America was. If you know me, you know I'm very into fitness and I like to say I'm in really good shape. So I was slightly disappointed when I got this suit and it had a little bit of the looser fit. I was expecting it to really snug tight on my arms. The same goes for the Endgame model. I also own that and it also has a little bit of a looser fit. If you're looking for a very tight fitted uh, Captain America suit, I recommend going ahead and going with that Winter Soldier suit, which you'll see eventually reviewed here on my channel as well. Well, with all that being said, uh, it's time to wrap things up. I hope that you enjoyed checking out one of my favorite cosplays, Captain America. This is just one of my many costumes that I will actually be displaying for you guys. And so if you could just do me a favor and leave a like and share this with any of your Captain America fans, and even more so, put a comment of what you thought about the video, ways that I could improve or change things around to make my YouTube even better. All advice and um, thoughts are appreciated. So with all that being said, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Captain America, out.